So, good morning. I just need to check here if all the technique is working. If you can see, I'm visible. If you can see and hear me, please do me a favor. Just say yes into the comments. Jan, Taba, thanks. Okay, so everything is obviously working. I'm happy to to see and hear that. Yes. Yeah, I can also hear me. Great. Good morning. Monday morning again. And um, I know uh, there were... Hi, Z uh, Zelonoid. Thanks very much. Great that you can uh, hear and see me. I'm happy to read this. Um, let me quickly also go into my Zoom. I'm sure that there are also a couple of people in Zoom. Yes, there are also some people. Great. Everybody can hear and see me. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So what we will do today. Um, Cindy got a little bit confused, obviously. So this Monday, today, we will talk about uh, the Department of Trade and Industry. And next Monday, Monday, we will talk about the National Empowerment Fund. I just want to get that straight here in the beginning so that you know what, what to expect. Uh, wow, we have 18 participants in Zoom. Great. And I also saw that we have a couple of them on, uh, on Facebook Live. So it's getting more and more and definitely also more fun for me. So what will we do today? We will um, talk about uh, grants that are here available in South Africa for businesses. I will talk uh, about the Department and Trade and Industry. Um, they offering these grants. Um, there is quite a lot, um, and um, I will not go in. Please don't expect me to go into details of all the different programs. I just want to give you an overview about it, so that you have an understanding what is available. If you decide to apply for any of these grants, you are not too sure if you qualify, please do me a favor, um, contact us and tell me, okay, this is what I want to do. Do you think I qualify for any of these grants? This is a free of charge service, what we offer to you. So do me a favor, don't apply everywhere because you just think you qualify for any of these grants because the department, uh, all the departments are usually overwhelmed uh, with applications and I think the majority of these applications do not qualify for the grants they apply for and I want to save you some frustrations I want to save the DTI to, to decline too many applications. And uh, my intention is because I want the applicants who do qualify get faster through the process. Okay. Um, so why do, let's start with one thing. Why do um, governments all over the world give out any grant? I just want you to, to understand that. Um, and the reason is because um, at um, a government a country has some crazy economists like me sitting there and thinking about the budget for the country for the next 50 years. Yes, you heard right, five zero. Okay. So, and one of the aspects is, of course, okay, how. Uh, do we make sure that we get some, uh, some money uh, in so that uh, the country is able also to pay for all the services uh, they want to offer um, their people? So in one aspect is definitely to think about, okay, so income tax from companies is quite easily to, to verify. All the companies need to... Uh, um, do annual financial statements and send that to SARS. So you can easily measure 
if you give out a grant today uh, to a company, how the taxable income uh, will increase for this company. Okay, so and with this uh, increased uh, taxable income, the country will get uh, some more, uh, some money for their budget. So, and then the next thing is, okay, so what makes sense? If I, if the country now gives some grants for equipment to increase productivity, the chances that this will have quite fast impact onto the taxable income is high. Yeah. So this is why there are grants all over the world from governments uh, for uh, companies available and businesses because uh, this will grow an economy and uh, help the country overall. Yeah. I just want you to understand why this is even available. So now, then we have on the other side that there are lots of grants available from the Department of uh, Trade and Industry. Each of these grants usually have uh, around about 20 pages rules and regulations. If you want to apply on your own, please do me a favor, read these rules and regulations carefully and make sure you really qualify. At first, they are quite confusing, but if you really take your time and go through and say, okay, they want the business to be a minimum uh, one year trading. If you are a startup, that means you do not qualify for this, okay? Don't go even further and think, okay, but I fit all the other criteria. This one criteria, you are already on. Find another one, yeah? Um, not each and every uh, venture will really qualify for, for a grant, okay? Not each and every uh, investment you plan or expenses will qualify for a grant. So, what I want to do is, let me see if I can do that with you. Um, I'm trying to share a screen because I think that's easy for you then also to see what I'm doing here. Um, let me see. Okay, so I'm sharing here the screen from, uh, uh, this is on the website of the DTI under financial assistance. You find all the incentives. Okay, let me just scroll uh, slowly down, and then you can see already that there are a couple of them. So, let me pick a few where I think that maybe one or the other of you will qualify for. Okay, so the agro-processing uh, support scheme is assisting companies, so they want uh, startups and expansions, they want to do agro-processing. Agro-processing means that you buy in from farmers a product, that you do something with it and that you're selling it. So it would be some of these maize mills would qualify for it if you uh, want to manufacture furnitures out of wood, they would qualify. Um, if you want to set up an abattoir or do meat processing plant, that would qualify. There, these are only a few of these rules and regulations I'm mentioning, okay? So not uh, everything will, because there's still other um, requirements. I just like to mention a few. All of these grants will definitely not finance 100%, okay? So you will not be granted 100%. It will be something between 20 and 50%, depending on uh, the grant and depending on your investment. So the next one is the, wow, we have 25 participants here in Zoom. Okay, so everybody is interesting about, interested about that. 
<laughs> Welcome. That's really fun for me here. Okay. So aquaculture development and enhancement program is for fishery and specifically for um, if you want to breed fish in, in ponds. Sorry, I don't know the proper English words for it, but I'm sure you will understand what I mean. It's not for fishing in the, in the oceans. It's really for breeding fish. Um, so as an aquacultural development program. I think this program pays between 20 and 30%. Also depending, they usually develop some uh, point systems. And if you are not too sure, I'm more than happy to assist you with this and determine for, um, for how much you would qualify. I'm not going into this automotive investment schemes. This is usually for companies they want to uh, um, manufacture parts for the automotive industry or for the automotive industry directly. The Black Industrialist Scheme did a good job. They created already 100 Black Industrialists in the last couple of years, and they decided to do another 100. The Black Industrialist Scheme is for startups and for expansion, um, and takes applications of uh, 30 million and above into consideration. Please also be aware it's not a 100% grant. You will apply, need to apply for a loan. You always can do uh, structure finance. So you have a portion as a grant, a portion as a loan from one institution, maybe a portion as a loan from another institution. You always need to have some sort of collateral. So you always need to invest some of your own money. Okay. Business process services is specifically if you want to set up a call center or you want to grow your call center and your clients are from abroad, it's one way to attract it, uh, to get some uh, foreign currency into this country. Capital Project Feasibility Program is a program to, to help companies in South Africa if they want to expand into other African, other countries worldwide. Um, and um, the DTI will pay a portion of it of the feasibility program, no, if, of the, sorry, of the feasibility study. Um, that's the program. Cluster development, critical infrastructure, I'm not mentioning here. Clothing and textile, competitive improvement program is also a nice one. Um, this one is for clusters, if you are in the textile industry, but they also have the production incentive, it's structured similar. If you are in the textile industry, you are trading already and you are, you invested in new machines or even in second-hand machines, uh, the DTI will take that into consideration and we will calculate the grant amount according to your last year um, annual turnover. Let me quickly see, somebody asked me a question. If I, I need to stop share. Okay, Madeleine, um, thanks very much for the question. I'm more than happy to discuss that uh, with you. I'm just thinking about what is interesting for the majority of uh, the viewers here. Um, I can see that you are for the uh, manufacturing parts for the aftermarket. Let me uh, put my email address in here. Let me do that. And then uh, please do understand I'm just checking here what is interesting for, for the majority. How much do you charge if the grant funding is successful? Okay, I'm also, I'm not, uh, which funding? <laughs> okay, so FUMU, let's start with one, one thing. So number one is, I first will listen to what you want to do where you are, 
and uh, then uh, I will be able to say, okay, maybe you have a business plan or you, you have a business, then um, we either may charge uh, for the business. If you don't have a business plan, we charge for the business plan. We have three options, 4,900 rand for applications for up to 1 million rand, 8,900 rand for applications up to uh, 5 million rand, and um, uh, afterwards, it's, uh, we recommend the premium plan um, for applications over 5 million rand for 13,900 rand. I always like to discuss this with you because it's not only about the loan amount, it's also about the complexity of your setup. And then I can say either way, you know what it is for 10 million rand, but I think the pro plan is definitely suitable. Sometimes I also say, yes, it's only for 5 million rand, but you have three or four different revenue streams. We need to do the, the premium business plan. Okay. And then the second step is what we do is we charge for uh, the support to apply for loan and, uh, and grant funding. And we're getting a commission of up to 3% for the loan funding up to 8% uh, for the grant funding. And we are getting a commitment fee upfront of 5,500 Rand because we only love to work really with committed uh, clients and want to be sure we can do whatever we want and we will, I promise you this, but you also need to do your part in it because otherwise uh, we will not be successful, okay? There is no grant which is the easiest to qualify for. These always depend on the different uh, industries you are in and for what you want to apply for funding. Okay, look, my advice, if somebody says, I don't know where to start and I want to start my own business, is find something where you are good at, where you have access to the market and where you will be profitable, yeah? That's the beauty if you want to start your business, you can concentrate on the profitability. Okay, so I hope I answered there all the questions. Let me go back to share my screen. Okay, so export, we are stuck here. Export Marketing Investment Assistant, it's the MES scheme, it's a nice scheme too. You need to be minimum one year trading. That means you need to be export ready. If you haven't um, been able to sell any of your products or services here in South Africa, your chances that you are able to offer them abroad are really, really small. This MBA scheme expects audited annual financial statements. As soon as you read this, you know it is not for startups. The film and television production incentives also only a really specific uh, market. If anybody of you is interested in this, please feel free to contact me afterwards. I sent you my email address and we will figure out if you qualify and how we can assist you. The incubation uh, support program is also a specific program. It's um, for corporates wanting to assist um, other companies, startups. Um, so it's for enterprise and supplier development programs. One of the rules is there that uh, the applicant has access to the market for the I think you call it incubates, but uh, I'm sure you know what I mean. The Manufacturing Competitiveness Enhancement Program was an absolutely nice program. They closed it at the moment. Please, no panic, absolute international normal process. A grant is open for two to three years. It will afterwards be um, evaluated if it met the objectives they had um, before. And if uh, it had, then maybe they try to improve it, change some rules and regulations, or they decide, the DTI decides that's not uh, working, we didn't um, meet the objectives we had with the specific program, then they will just close it. 
each program international standard to a usually specific budget. And if this budget is uh, gone, then they need to wait for the next budget. International standard, no worries. Okay, I see that there are some more questions. Let me first go through this because there are not so many. And then I go back to the questions. Yes, please uh, wait a couple of minutes. Manufacturing incentive uh, program, the MIP is closed for a couple of years already. The production incentive is the one I mentioned before. It's for the textile industry. It's quite easy one to apply for. Hey, you still need to submit all your uh, documentations and this can be uh, sometimes quite stressful, all the forms and your FICA documentation, FICA documentation of the company. But hey, at the end of the day, some of my customers and clients are getting around about four to 500,000 rand each and every year. And uh, in the beginning, they said, oh, Dagmar, it's uh, really, really painful. And I said, hey, you're earning 500,000 rand. How many hours do you usually need to work to get 500,000 rand? Then they look at me and say, hmm, I know what you mean, okay? <laughs> I do what is required, yeah? Um, these are not so interesting uh, grants for, uh, for companies. The SPII is a support program for industrial innovation. So if you want to um, develop some innovations, I uh, will definitely will do another um, of these Monday morning uh, uh, webinars and then we will talk specifically about the innovation and technology funding instruments. Okay, because that's uh, quite in detail. There are a couple of instruments out there, what South African government is offering. And I think it makes sense to go there a little bit more into details. These other are also not relevant. So, okay, stop sharing. So now, um, if you, I think we, we went through all of these grants available from the DTI at the moment. Let me quickly have a look at my funding connection page. Um, okay, so there are also some questions. Okay, Zelenoid, we are starting an incubator in school. Need you but not applying for government funding. Overseas and corporate donors, can you help? Zelenoid, I am concentrating on businesses um, and raising funding for businesses. I'm not an expert in raising donations uh, for NPOs. Drop me an email. I can recommend you somebody. They are doing that and they are doing that really well. Sean, can blacklisted or people in debt review still apply for grant funding and term finance? Okay, so it always depends. Um, um, keep in mind, if you are the financier and somebody wants now to apply for finance from you and they see that, uh, uh, and you see that they are blacklisted, you would be worried that they are able, if they are paying back the loan or not. Okay, so this is, if you start tackling your debt, if you make some arrangements with your uh, debtors, then you have a chance to apply for finance. I've done that. I usually like to be straightforward. I go to the financier and say, okay, this is what we want to do. This is the challenge. Will you still take that into consideration or not? And as soon as somebody, as soon as we can prove that uh, this one is tackled and that you are paying back on a monthly basis, your outstanding debt, you are not hiding, you are, you know, you are facing reality, then there is definitely a, um, a chance that you are able to apply for grant and finance. Sindrik, in the automotive sector, does this DTI sponsor new in initiatives in public transport sector? 
Um, okay, Sindrik, what you're doing here to me is at the moment you are telling me, please buy me a car. Um, with only one information, I'm definitely not able to give you any qualified information um, and, uh, and any qualified advice. So I definitely need to have more information about it. Please, uh, Sindrik, feel free and uh, drop me an email. Let me also put my email address here, although all of you should have that. Okay, so looks like I answered all the questions here on Facebook at the moment. Selenoid, yes, please. Mostly chasing business plan. We'll drop you an email. Great. Okay. Do they fund uh, Joy? Thanks for the profitable session. Do they fund hospitality sectors? Uh, DTI uh, has no funds available or grants at the moment uh, available for the hospitality industry, but the National Empowerment Fund has, and they have a mixture out of grant and loan funding. Drop me an email. We will then be able to discuss that. Let me go back to this for business plan and for the discussions um let me see can i reply here madeleine did you find my email address um okay i put that again my email address is uh, dagmar at funding connection dot coza okay so five doesn't oh, offset against the grant funding successfully. Thibault, no, the commitment fee is not refundable. And although we really take um, everything into consideration and we try our best, um, the success not only depends on our effort, it always depends on your effort and it always depends on what uh, the DTI or the potential institution is doing. And our support is um, before we submit the application and not after it's submitted. Am I quite picky with taking on uh, applications? If you tried that before, you would know that I am because I don't want to ruin our high success rate for, of um, over 95%. But um, I also, I can't take responsibility for everything. It's your venture, it's your business. So that's why I will not refund it. Does it have grants for startup security companies? No, they don't. I sent you my mm, email address. Are you able to assist with the ISP incubation program? Matapelo, yes, we are. We always will. Please, our process is like this. We will take, um, discuss your venture before we even take it on. And only if I'm 100% sure that we are able to assist you, that you have a high chance of success, I will take that um, venture on. Okay, so if you are now happy, this one was a long uh, Facebook <laughs> webinar plan is usually only to do that for 10 to, uh, to 20 minutes. We are now here on already for 30 minutes. So if you need some help, number one is if you want to know if you qualify for any of the grants from the DTI, I dropped you my email in the comments, please um, email us. If you need a business plan, uh, please feel free to explain to us what you really want to do so that we can determine which is the best uh, option of our three business plans. And um, if you need to have some support later on also to apply for finance, does means finance means either way of any of these grant um, available here in South Africa, but also the, we also have to apply with loans from government institutions, from enterprise development funds, from um, the um, commercial banks or from some equity partners. We have some interested here in South Africa, but we are also working closely together with some equity partners uh, abroad. 
then please uh, let us know and see um, what we can do here uh, to grow South Africa's economy. Okay. Do you grant funding for property development? Okay, there are no grant fundings available, grants for, for construction or, or property developments. It makes no sense um, from the view of the government because it will usually not increase dramatically your um, taxable income, like I explained it before. Okay, people take care if you have some questions. Further questions, feel free to, to contact me directly and uh, take care. Uh, and I want wish you a successful week. Take care. Bye-bye.